Hey guys, Jim Lux here, back with our newly blind playthrough of Morrowind. Last time we started barely exploring uh, Mornhold. Are we cuddling again? Manny has been a cute pain in the Botox. Because he just wants cuddles. Even though it's actually been... It's actually been a couple hours since I did the last episode just due to... Well, partially him, and then I played some some eye divine uh, cybermancy, which so far it's not good, but I'm getting into it. Um, it's I don't know. It's there's something really charming about it. I guess it's it's one of those games that's like it's very it's jank, but it's super creative, and so. Now that I'm learning, basically it's, it you know, it's sort of a mod for the original Half-Life. Um, and that wasn't, I would say the design, like the controls and stuff still weren't as streamlined as they maybe are today. Although to be fair, I don't play a lot of shooters, really any. So who knows? What do I know, right? But um But yeah, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm I'm doing whatever and I'm able to survive more. Uh, and that's that's key. I still get killed really, really easily, because you just you just get killed super fast. Um But I'm, You know, I was I was trying to be like sneaky, carry around a sniper rifle with a silencer on it, and now I'm just like, nah, I'm just gonna freaking carry around basically a 50 cal anti-material rifle and uh you know because there's freaking gunships flying around and I need to kill those and you know you just shoot them twice and they blow up but but if they see you you're basically toast that's kind of the problem is it's you might be the super soldier but you are you're still very squishy you know, and money is hard to come by, even though it's, it's easier. You have to, you have to basically grind for it. And so your, uh, everything costs money, your upgrades, all that stuff. And some of it costs a lot of money. And so it's like, well, do I want to, you know, you are so adorable. You've just been adorable all morning. You're wanting to be held wanting to be in the way, just wanting to be near me. Super adorable. Luckily, this game is a little bit less intensive than uh, than I, because you basically just walk around and, and talk to people, at least, you know, at, at the moment that's what we're doing, because we're still getting established in in the city. And that dude might... You want, within reason. He might be a good idea, uh, but if he dies... Good for the Empire. Good for all, eh, citizen? If, if he dies, though, I'm going to be in a world of hurt. Because that's that's the problem. It's like, I'm glad... Ooh, he's hard to... Well, yeah, I still suck at persuasion, basically. Um, we'll see. I might hire him. You know, if, if, if I find two things that are like, oh, here's, you know, two swords that are... 60 or 40 a piece, I'm just gonna be like, come on. Really? You know what I'm saying, mister? You are so cute. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, here we go. Member of the Tribunal, she was the wife of Nervar and one of his most trusted advisors until she betrayed him. She resides here in Mornhold, much loved by the people. Ah, the Lady Berenzia. Fine, fine woman. It has been my pleasure to have known her as long as I have. Who are you? Dark Brotherhood have a long and interesting history, though a great deal of it still lies shrouded in mystery. What is certain is that they are deadly and remorseless. Steer clear of them at all costs. Research tells me that Hilaire has been with the Lady Almalexia for many years now, serving in an official capacity as her steward. What these duties entail is not known to me, but there are rumors he carries out some of the more unpleasant chores for the goddess. 
What does that even mean? I mean, he's probably not... He's probably not screwing her, but... Well... Maybe she's into pegging or something, that's... You know... Okay, I became the Lord, Ar Lord Arch Cannon over ten years ago, and the former Arch Cannon died of old age. Drin has spent his life in servitude to Lady Almalexia, and he has been rewarded with great power. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing. She's basically a living goddess, and so... You know? He's like, this dude served her, and the, the dude before me, and ten dudes served, you know, before... Like hundreds, perhaps. How long, you know, they've been they've been gods for a couple thousand years. Uh huh. Ghost Gate was built as the Gate Citadel, the Ghost Fence Ordinator. Now since you've slain Dagoth Ur and banished the Blight, perhaps they should maintain the garrisons as a tribute to Almsivia and you and all those who died to save Morrowind. That's not a bad idea. More um You know, like a like a memorial. Okay. Great Bazaar. Halseth. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's in the eastern section of Mornhold. you find some of the best wares in all of Morrowind on sale there. Check out some of the stores nearby as well. They sell some excellent items. While you're at the Bazaar, see if there's a public performance. They can be amusing. I'd like to see the uh, Lusty Argonian Maid being performed there. I mean... I don't know if I want to see it, but yeah. Let's see. Is certain that his bloodline is strong? His young king? Oh, wait, wait, okay. Son of Brenzia, former queen of Morrowind, who herself was the niece of King Athen Lethen. Is certain his bloodline is strong? He's a young king, though, and perhaps a bit rash. He does not, not yet possess his mother's wisdom or his father's courage. Right, who's his father? I, whatever. Uh, plaza, southern part of Mornhold. Good place to spend a restful day. They're an elite group ping picked by King Helseth for their bravery and complete devotion to him. Some have been with him since his time in Wayrest. Their leader, Tianius Deleshin, is a fine soldier and a good man. Okay. He must be a savant or something. I didn't see a background on him. Uh, okay. Solstheim. Sothisil. One of the three god kings of Morrowind, while Vivek and Amalexia have traditionally been fairly visible to their followers, Sothisil has been more reclusive. He's known as a great mage and scholar and is said to live in a clockwork city of his making. Oh, do we not... I'm pretty sure we get to see it at some point, but how to get there? Okay, Empire Chamriel encompasses nine Imperial provinces. Skyrim, High Rock, Hammerfell, Somerset Isle, Valenwood, Elsewhere, Black Marsh, Morrowind, and the ancient Imperial province itself, Cyrodiil. Dating from the first era Cyrodiilic Empire, the Empire is almost 4,000 years ago. Should say old, I think. 4,000 years old. But more properly, the current empire dates from the beginning of the Third Era and the crowning of Tiber Septim as Emperor of Morrowind over 400 years ago. The current emperor is Uriel Septim, 24th of the Septim line. Yep. Uh, Tianus has been with Helseth since he was a child in the emperor's court. He's a career soldier and has risen through the ranks quickly. Helseth chose him to lead the royal guard not only because he's a fine warrior, Delishan, is also a savvy politician, and he's an excellent judge of character. Okay. Well. Where... So there's guards' quarters, which presumably... connects over here or something. Well, yeah, the royal palace. I guess technically this is probably all the royal palace, kind of. That goes to the temple. Wait, royal palace... Jail. What? Um. Huh. So there's got to be something 
underneath here that I'm not seeing. Unless it just falls out of the sky. Let's check out the Imperial Cult. Guards quarters. Yep, he's wearing robes of some kind. Whatever you want. Within reason. Mornhold. City of light. City of magic. City of guards blocking justice never sleeps. I guess we could try um wait, am I gonna I was like, let's try levitating, but then I'm like, will it they said don't do it. They said it's not... Hmm. They say it doesn't work? Levitation magic does not work here. If a few words can help... The I Nine and the talk. Empire, citizen. I'm not busy now. What do you need? Huh. It's so strange that it's all linked together like this. Oh, that's where that goes. Can I go in? Oh. Uh, okay. Hmm. Is that her? Huh, well, I mean, I guess, uh... What was that? Okay. I guess I didn't expect her to be a Dunmer, although it makes sense. I also expected her to not... If I ever see that elf, he's in so much trouble. I didn't expect her to look so normal, you know what I mean? You just hear the lore Approach and stuff. Approach and be recognized, my good man. All right. Ah, you're the one recently arrived from Vardenfell. What is it you wish to ask? Well, okay. Uh, let's see. Background. I am Brenzia, Queen Mother. Were you confused about that? No. Not a group of people to be taken lightly. Their reach is far and their methods well honed. Take care when dealing with them. That's correct, Manny. Be careful. There's more to Hlera than one would think. There are rumors he was once an assassin. It is fairly widely known that he is the leader of the Hands of Almalexia. This is not a person to be trifled with. Trifled with. Hmm. Well. Drain's Lord, Archcanon of the Mournhold Temple, possesses great magical skill, utterly devoted to the goddess Almalexia. Yeah, I imagine so. He is my son. He is also the king of Morrowind. He might get her bumped off if he's really, uh... If he's really ruthless. The wild rats have been a real problem in Mournhold lately. If you're looking for some action, try poking around in the sewers. Yep. Yep, Dovor Orin. Uh, okay. I know a little about the prophecies. I know about you and the temple. Some people in the West set great store in signs and portents, but for thousands of years we Dunmer have had the luxury of being able to speak directly to our gods. We have no need of prophets, and distrust anyone who claims to speak for the gods. You know... Speak directly to our gods. You know, that's interesting. That's actually a great point, because they don't worship their ancestors as the traditional Dunmer did. You know, and they're like, well, we can actually speak to our gods. Our gods are alive. So, yeah, that actually makes, that does make a lot of sense. Oh, they're my son's personal guard. Effective soldiers, from what I've seen of them. Uh, one of the original companions of Nerevar, who, who have come to be known collectively as the Tribunal. Said he's a powerful mage and wizard with mechanical devices. Little else is known about this reclusive god. Yeah, is he even alive? I assume so. I would assume we're going to meet him here, but... Supposedly, Amalexia kills him at some point. Um, I only met the man once or twice. He left a strong impression. Smart, charismatic. He could have been a leader of our people. He's the one that 
died? Or that was the other... That was the other in line for the throne or something like that? Uh, Tianus has been my son, Helthus, loyal and trusted advisor for many years. He's a skilled warrior and an intelligent man. Do not be fooled by his rough exterior. Tianus is a shrewd man and an excellent judge of character. It is no coincidence my son trusts him as implicitly as he, uh, implicitly as he does. Anytime you're ready, just don't keep me waiting. I wouldn't have expected to see the Nerevarine here in Mournhold. So they do know. Ooh, not much. I'm a royal guard. You want to go looking for them? It's your funeral. Look, I've heard rumors they have a hideout in the ruins of Old Mournhold. You can get there through the sewers in the Great Bazaar. There you go. It's a little bit more. Uh, I mean, I think they said that before, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Let's see. Oh, his young protege, Talon Vandis. Seems a bit suspicious. You're... Yep. Okay, Solstheim. I've heard of him. Heard he was dead, too. Shame to lose a good soldier, but he should have been more careful. Yep, okay. Well, that is... That is it. Part of me was like, oh, the Nerevarine, here, I have a quest for you. But, um, that's... I mean, maybe we'll get there. We're still establishing ourselves. I don't necessarily just expect quests to fall out of the sky. But maybe, maybe they should. I don't know. Justice never sleeps. All right, let's talk to these mofos. Okay. Ooh. Who are you? Barter? Potions and stuff do you... Oh. Resistance, cure poison. Do you have dispel potions? No. But 1200. Spells. Uh, let's see. Spell drinker. Ah, there you go. These are all fortify, right? Masterful golden wisdom. Fortify. Feet of Naturgo, I think I've got that already. Do I have stuff that fortifies all of the... I have Restore. I don't know if I have Fortify, but it doesn't... It doesn't matter a whole lot, because I think you can fortify Attribute in general. I don't know if you necessarily need to fortify skill. Like, if I get this one, will it... Can I create something that fortifies any skill, or... I don't know, we'll just buy all of these. Golden Wisdom, Unseen Wisdom in green, and Fluid Evasion. Okay. Sure, there we go. Okay, talk to me, girl. Lorena Maria, priest. Okay. Uh, let's see. Have you heard anyone talk about plague or anything? I thought I overheard a pair of priests talking quietly about something like red plague or something, but they shut right up when I tried to get closer to them. They did mention something about rats. What are you smelling, mister? Probably your... Okay. All creaky. You're my creaky boy. Oh no. Overconfidence kills. Don't judge an enemy by his gear. The really dangerous ones don't need gear to kill you. Hmm. Unarm well, unarmored and hand to hand, maybe. If you're looking for access to the places of power, start with TNS Delition. Yes. But we did go to talk to him, and he ignored us, so maybe have to do something else first. Uh, yep. 
Oh, uh, found the royal guard around the royal palace. Mostly, I've heard they're dangerous men. I know I'm going to stay clear of them. Okay. We'll start. Ellen Vandis. Very popular figure here in Mournhold, with most people at least. King Lethen thought of the boy as a son, was grooming him for the throne. Unfortunately, he met with an accident soon after Helseth arrived in Mournhold. Really a shame. Yeah. So presumably the king was killed and his protege. Welcome, Thurgis Loxley. Can I tell you about our services? Or if you could donate more time and effort, would you like to become a lay servant? Aren't I already? What spells do you have? Absorb speed range. Masterful sublime wisdom. We'll just get all of those. Red wisdom. Because because I don't know. Are you gonna jump down? Just be careful, okay? Oh, actually, hang on. Spell making. Fortify skill. Aha! Alright, so if we could do this, we could do this with, um... With the others. Should I, should I get them anyway? I kind of want to just have them. No, but there's too much in this list already. Right, that's fine. Okay. Affairs of Honor. Yeah, let's just ask him about everything. Uh, ch -ch 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 Akatosh. Oh, he knows a lot of stuff. Almoners. Okay, background. Recent disciple of the Imperial Cult. Black Marsh. Blades. Is he a uh, savant also? Cyrodiil. Debella. Elsewhere. Okay, Hammerfell, Helseth. Let's see. He's our new king, I suppose. I would like to know what happened to King Ethan Lethen. Bit odd, old man died so soon after Helseth arrived in Mournhold. Yeah. What about Talon Vandis, Lethen's nephew? Everyone assumed he would be next in line for the throne until his accident, that is. Wasn't Brenzia involved in some of this stuff? I vaguely remember reading that she was, like, in, in Skyrim or, or Oblivion. That she helped poison whoever... Maybe that was the thing. Maybe that was the thing with Skyrim. Like, she helped poison the king to get her son. Or something like that. Because I remember her being... Like a tyrant, kind of, or, or something like that. I don't know. Real cult. You're already a member. Latest rumors. Haven't been any shows at the robot arena lately. Has Ignatius Flaccus been having problems with his Dwemer Centurions again? Huh. Hey, okay, don't be a sap. Don't pay for a bed. Mara. Morrowind. Morrowind lore, my trade. Necromancy, Nerevarine. I oop, clicked it twice by accident, requirements, royal guard. Okay, I'm... Okay. Yep, poor Vandis was found dead soon after. Talos. Okay, so that's basically it. I kind of thought maybe you'd have Time missions or something. I have a few minutes. Do I want to go into the guards' quarters just to go in there? Justice never. In seen. the king's name, what is your business? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to. Justice never sleeps. Well, but that one person has a name. In death, we have names. His name was Robert Paulson. 
Justice never sleeps. His name was Robert Paulson. <laughs> Legion Depot, yeah, okay. Well, um, yeah. Let's go talk to never sleep. Let's go talk to the named NPC then. That rat in the bag. Justice that, wait. never sleeps. Wait, where am I in the right place? Ah. In the king's name, what is your business? There you are. You don't have a lot to say. Okay, well, in that case. So we've explored the guards' quarters, we went into the cult services, we haven't checked, we have not yet checked out the palace, or the plaza, sorry. Legion depot, reception area. So, temple or plaza? Let's go to the temple. That's what I want to see the most. Yeah, okay, it's 62. Man, I haven't recorded much today. I kind of wanted... Okay, I wanted to try it out here. But yeah, they probably don't. I saw... What was it? Was it summoning salt? Not su not summoning salt. Salt factory. The... Was it any good or... Or is it still good or something like that? The... The... I ended up watching the rest of the video. I think I mentioned this already, but at one point in the video, he mentions that doing the temple, the shrine things, uh, gives you this levitation thing that lasts forever. And he, he went like, he's like, how high can I go? And he went super high until the, like, you saw the map go like this. And then it got, it went out of view and all you could see was clouds. Um, I bet they don't want you doing anything like that here. I don't know how... I mean, there's no world map, right? So it's... That's probably why. That's probably... There's probably a ceiling up there. You know? Okay. Well, this is cool. This is bigger than I expected. So that's the royal palace, huh? Oh, elite centurions, right? Oh, hi, yeah, yeah, high or well. No, that's different. They have different boots. And blue stuff. If a few words can help, I'd be happy to talk. Yes. Blessings of Elm City, Nervarine. Okay. Wow, you do have you have a fair amount to say actually. It's Yeah, cuz the one the elite not Centurions. Elite Ordinators had regular armor. The ones that I killed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dagothur is dead. We don't need the ghost fence. Okay. Bless you for delivering our people. May the ghost gate stand forever as a monument to our victory. Yep. God's Reach is on the western side of the city, but we can't get there yet, I don't think. Great Bazaar in the east. New King, what of it? We are the High Ordinators, move along. There's been a lot of thefts lately, high-class stuff, not just petty burglary and pickpocketing. I think there's someone new in town, someone ambitious, someone really good. That must be that Dovas Oren or whatever his name is. Don't get cocky, there's always someone tougher than you. Right. Uh, Black Dark Gang. Okay, Morrowind. Devil is dead. Yeah, that's gotta be weird to have living gods and a living devil, you know? 
Hmm, amateurs. That's funny. Okay. You're in the temple courtyard now. South is the royal palace. To the southwest is God's Reach. To the southeast is the Great Bazaar. Plaza Brindisi Dorum is south of the royal palace. Either through the palace or from God's Reach or the Great Bazaar. Oh, okay, so that's presumably how you get to God's Reach in the Great Bazaar. You have to go through the plaza. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. He was popular among the people, spent time at the temple as well. We investigated his death, but we were unable to find anything conclusive. It was suspicious, though. The Imperial is probably at the palace with the rest of them. All right, well, that was actually pretty informative. We're gonna... Ah, okay. Right, so you... Presumably it's it's like an eye, you know, the temple at the top, the bazaar at the bottom, the palace in the middle, and then on either side is God's Reach and the Great Bazaar. That's what I would, that's what I'd gather. Oh, are we going to do this? Okay, that's fair. I just want to, you know, open the map up. It's pretty big. strange line. And this actually reminds me a lot of Oblivion. Although, honestly, this is nicer, I would say. Because this is... It's open. Whereas Oblivion felt more, even though they had this, it felt more, like, closed in. You know, this is like a big open air area. Although you can't you can't use levitation, but you know, there you could have. Did they get rid of levitation for uh oblivion? I kind of assume they did. God's reach. Uh, I mean, I don't really need the money. Is this where I started? Yes. All right, cool. God's Reach, Great Bazaar. Uh, I think they said you go under the Great Bazaar. And I assume the Dark Brotherhood quest line is the main quest line of the DLC. How are you? Mera oh, Hellas. It's you. Can I help you? You don't you don't like me? Give to the temple and receive the blessings of Almalexia. Okay, well. Ah, you sell alchemy related stuff. Spells. Uh, well, there's Dispel. But I have a Dispel, don't I? Is it just regular Dispel? Dispel 100%. Cost 25. It's okay, though. Uh, yeah, I'll ask about the Blessings here in a second. Healer and Adept. Uh, our wealth dies with us, my child, but our good deeds outlive us all. Would you care to make a donation to the temple and receive the blessings of the Lady of Mercy? What's Almalexia gonna do with the money? I'm gonna ask that. I'm I'm gonna give the gold, but yeah. Almalexia watches over all her children, the sick, the needy, the poor. Well, not actually in person. She used to, in person, you know, but she's made no public appearance for years. So the temple takes care of her children for her. That's what the money goes for a child. All right, fair enough. Thank you, my child. Is she gonna give us a blessing? Yes, but, well, we'll see what it is in a second. Er, okay. Uh, let's see.
Wraith Guard. Meaning Mara's skirt. Um, Alexei's blessing is luck. Five points. Not bad. I mean, it's not, not a bad blessing, actually. Fortify luck for five points. Uh, right. So we got some other key words by that. Which is good. Because we need to know more about that. And, you know, you could say, oh, she hasn't made any public appearances in a while. And it's like, well, that could be something more sinister. Could be something else. Or, like Vivek, her power was fading and, you know. But honestly, performing miracles for the people, you know, if faith, if you're powered by faith as well, then, you know, going out and being seen and performing miracles... I mean, you don't, you don't want to be seen too much. You need to be, like, mysterious. You want to be, like, a like a celebrity. You know? Okay, we don't need the ghost fence. The Red Party of Redoran preserves the ancient martial traditions of ancestors and deserves our thankful respect. What does that mean? The Red Party. Bravest and holiest of warriors in all of Morrowind. They keep the peace here in Morrowind, and I'm glad for it. Oh, we got something else. Almalexi is the mother of us all. Healer and protector always has been. I suppose she doesn't seem that way now. It's the war with Dagoth Ur. It's hard for all of us. She's had to change, to toughen herself and her followers. It's true that sometimes dissenters disappear when they question her doctrines. The hands of Almalexi are more like inquisitors than knights of loving mercy. And Morrowind doesn't feel much like the city of love anymore. But hard times demand hard gods. Well, no, that's when, that's when you're truly lost. If you lose your principles, you know. They're Amalexia's personal guards, body and soul, scimitar and armor, or scimitar and armor, fortified by divine enchantments, pledged to honor and protect and serve Amalexia in all ways. They used to spend much of their time punishing criminals and protecting the people, now they spend all their time protecting Amalexia. I suppose that's right, but it makes me uneasy. It sends the wrong signal. Vengeful might rather than vigilant mercy. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Latest rumors. Beggars are becoming a problem in Mournhold. They won't take no for an answer. Sure, this is Amalexia's city of love and charity, but sometimes I want to smack those whining pests. Maybe they're the Dart gang or whatever. Uh, okay, yeah, the Black Dark Gang, yep. I am a healer. Riverine. Let's see, you know about Om Sivi, the living gods of our temple? Gods, but at the same time, living folks like you and me. Om Alexia, the Lady of Mercy, walked the streets of Mornhold herself, healed the sick, fed the poor, gave them clothes from her own hand, same with Lord Vivek. Then, ten years ago, about the time of the Ghost Fence, they stopped appearing in public. Needed all Omsivi's power for the Ghost Fence, they said. High priests still talk with them, but we don't see them. Ten years ago? I thought it was longer than that, but maybe. Hmm. Anyway. Okay. Wait, what, um... Living Gods, or Lady of Mercy, yeah. Soul Sickness. Temple Courtyard. Okay, tell me about Living Gods. Alma, Alexei, and Vivek have always been among us, our fathers and forefathers to many generations, living and speaking to gods and ancestors, guardians and heroes. Sought the Sill, he is the father of mysteries and always kept to himself. But long ago, even he used to appear now and then. That's the difference between the temple and the Western faiths. We have gods who are once mortals. They understand what it is to live, what it's like to live, eat, sleep, suffer, worry, and to fear death. Um, not according to Vivek, he disagrees. He doesn't care. I mean, he cares in the, the general sense, but not, not really. Um, but yeah, also the, 
the Western faiths did used to be. But that's strange also because supposedly the Adra and Daedra that you worship used to be, you know, Dunmer as well. So, uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. No, we read that one already, I thought. Okay, anyway, that's, uh, that's it. Let's go into the temple. Reception area. Can I just walk in? Oh. Granny Varys. I wasn't going to talk to her, but since she's a granny, I have to. This temple is as clean as Amalexia's conscience, Sarah. Mind you keep it that way. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yep. It's like when someone tells you I'm as sane as you are, and it's like... Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know. I'm Granny Varus, caretaker. Dissident priests. Right, so that dude, I think, is the... Oh, he's wearing glass pauldrons. He's the one that used to be an assassin, right? Or is an assassin. Okay, hands of Almalexia. Uh, the personal guard of the god, Almalexia. The hands are pledged to honor and protect and serve Almalexia in all ways. Their bodies and souls are fortified by divine magic, and their armor and weapons bear fearsome divine enchantments. Some say the hands are the most terrible mortal warriors in the world. Okay. The police of Mournhold take care around them. Wild rats. Dovor Orin, yeah. I keep things clean and running smoothly. I keep an eye on things. I make sure we have enough of what is needed. Make sure no one walks off with things. But she doesn't have a specific... She's like, oh, I'm the caretaker. But it wasn't like, oh, I'm I'm a commoner. Or I'm a priest. Or you'd think she'd have an actual class. Temple is wrong. That's... Yeah... And that's not even... They wouldn't think that way either. And Vivek wouldn't have put that out. He would have been like, oh, we were testing him. It was part of, it was part of the prophecies after all, right? I mean, that's the thing. Oh, it was, you know, it's, oh, it's just a ruse. Okay. All right, let's talk to... Ah, you're the one who has recently arrived in Mournhold from Varnfell. I was told of your arrival. I understand you had some problems with the Dark Brotherhood. An interesting group, and usually rather effective. I'm surprised you're still alive. Perhaps you have potential, or they sent incompetence. I believe you might be of service to Our Lady. I'm always interested. Let's see... Okay... You may call me Fedris Hilaire. What I do is my own affair. I love when they say that they're always an assassin. Hmm, that one has ears everywhere. The people love her, always have, and she seemingly stayed out of politics since her return to Mournhold. Make no mistake, though, she knows the score in this town. A savvy old woman, to be sure. Yep. Uh, let's see, an interesting group. Effective. Fear and mystery are powerful tools for them. There have been kings that have been rumored to utilize their services. That is only rumor, of course. Oh... Are they connected to Helseth? That would make a lot of sense, actually. Uh, let's see, Dunmer. Go there if you wish to speak to him, Helseth. Our new young king, he is ruthless and not foolish, as some would have you believe. He has some of his mother's political savvy and all of his father's ruthlessness. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, perhaps you've seen ordinators on Vardenfell. Fierce warriors all. They were the men judged unfit to serve in Our Lady's city. High ordinators are the strongest warriors in all of Morrowind. They protect the temple and the city against all threats. Do not cross them. Morag Tong. Yep. Morrowind lore. I'm an assassin. 
Right, service to Our Lady. I'm always aware of those who might be able to serve Our Lady Omlexia. Few are the worthy to do so. The temple in the city is guarded by the High Ordinators, and the Hands fulfill other duties for the Lady. I am her chief steward, Fedris Hler. Now, if you wish to be of use, we have some matters to discuss. Okay, well, let me ask about services and Solstheim first. Okay, uh, matters to discuss. Bam. Perhaps you've already met young King Hlalu Helseth. I have it. I don't know where he is. Presumably in his chambers. A foul man, unworthy to sit on his throne. Still, he holds right of succession. The lady must keep an ever watchful eye on this king, though, lest he do something that would be detrimental to the temple, our fair city, or perhaps all of Morrowind. Certainly, there are concerns about some new recruits that Helseth seems to be training. Tell me more. A standing army is nothing new in the city, though it is largely unnecessary. Mornhold is protected by her walls from the outside and by Our Lady Amalexia from within. None would dare mount an attack here. Still, tradition dictates that the king maintain an army. We believe that Helseth is raising quite a different sort of army, a goblin army. I haven't... I don't know if I've ever seen a goblin in any... Even in, um... Have I... Have I ever seen a goblin in any of the Elder Scrolls games? I don't know. Foul, vicious creatures. No wonder Helseth has chosen them to be his foot soldiers. I know the goblins are being trained nearby, though not where exactly. Ask around the city about goblins. Someone will know. I wish for you to find the location of Goblin Training Area. When you do, kill the war chiefs. There should be two. Sever the head of this army and the rest will shatter like a scrib. You might rid the city of their two Altmer trainers as well. Complete this task and the lady will be pleased. Altmer trainers, huh? Traditionally, the Altmer have used the goblins to reinforce their armies. Why, I do not know. Rumor has it that Helseth has contracted two Altmer to train his goblin, goblin army. If you find these Altmer, it would be a service to rid the city of them as well. Presumably the traditional, in the traditional manner of cast frenzy on them, and then I have to defend myself. I don't know if I've seen Altmer around here. Okay, well, your journal has been updated. Sozzy? Scozzy? Shozzy? What was her name? Hmm. Okay. Asked me to perform a service for the goddess. King Helseth is recruiting a troop of goblins to serve as foot, foot soldiers for his army. Uh, Almalexi considers the goblins an abomination. A horrified Helseth would consider using the beasts as soldiers. Goddess worries the temperamental Helseth will lose control of the creatures and they will attack Mornhold. I'm to kill the goblin war chiefs and report back to Hler. Although he did not know where the goblins were being trained, perhaps one of the locals has more information. It's also strange that there's no... They must be in the city somewhere. Presumably they're in the sewers. I don't think you can actually leave the city. That's my guess. Like, you know, there's probably the four zones or whatever. Uh, yeah. In addition to the two goblin war chiefs, Slayer mentioned that there are at least two Altmer in charge of training the goblins for Helseth. If I can also get rid of them, the goddess will be pleased. Can I just go talk to her? Let us save now. Uh, okay, quests. Oh, hang on. The, um... Dark Brotherhood attacks. So this finished the quest? Talk to the Royal Guard and just like, yeah, go into the sewers. And that quest, quest complete. Okay. Figured, it, you know, more to it than that. And that's, stuff like that is probably the reason why 
like say Fallout 3 for example, whenever you finish a quest, you get a new one. If it's part of the main quest line. Uh, in search of the farmer, no. Goblin army. Okay. Well. So. Infirmary. Office of Lord Archcannon. Yeah, I want to. I want to explore. Hello. Justice never sleeps. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. That's. Oh, where does this go? The High Chapel. Wait. Oh, there was a door right there. I didn't even notice. I was looking in the other direction. Hall of Ministry. You know, it's interesting. This looks like different architecture as well. Almalexia knows and sees. Okay, can I... Oh my goodness. And you're stuck on the frickin' door, aren't you? None may enter the High Chapel unless summoned by the goddess Amalexia. Okay, so that's something else they're doing now, right? Because before it was like you, you could just go in, right? But, um... Here they're doing, like... Doors that Justice can't. Oh my god, you walked me. in. You walked in. Get out the way. Uh. <laughs> Almalexia knows and sees. All right, let's go back. We'll talk to the arch cannon. Oh, I didn't expect this to be so big. Right, this... Justice oh. never sleeps. My gosh. Yes. Okay. What? What do you want? Why are you stammering like that? Do you have something to hide? Okay, the high chapel. All right, so we have. Yes. What? What do you grace want? and mercy? Oh God, this I could be stuck in here. Oh, hello. Have we met? I'm Ervil Dalny, a recent initiate here at the temple. Yeah. Okay, distant priests. Goblins in Mournhold? I've heard some odd, odd stories of creatures in the sewers beneath God's Reach, but I never thought they might be goblins. Terrible creatures. Well, there you go. Just gotta ask about a rumor. Okay, Hellseth High Ordinators. I'd like to step into the Winged Guar for Matsi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, a bouncer. Okay. Bunch of thugs. Okay. Hmm. Wonder what your deal is. Try me, and you'll regret it. Who said that? The okay, whatever. What brings you to the temple, disciple? Have you been lax in your duties? Do you have duties? Okay, Omalexia ancestors. I'm not even paying attention to the the time, which is a mistake. Gonians, background. I'm Gavas Drin, the Patriarch of the Temple. Bad Daedra. Bad Daedra. Okay. I've not had the pleasure of her company myself. Perhaps I'm one of the few. I'll say this. She's much loved by the people of the city. They should remember who truly deserves their love and admiration. All praise to Our Lady of Mercy. Crater Citadels. Oh, yeah, interesting, right? <laughs> Sorry, Manny. Ugh. I sneezed, Adam. Who can oppose the law and taxes the Emperor? His hand lies heavy on our ancient land. 
many lands, the Spirit of Fortune is worshipped under no name at all, save in its mortal incarnation, the Almighty Coin. Indeed. Okay, so... I guess you just ask anybody. Is he part of Telvanni? Interesting. Maybe, uh... Maybe what's her name is uh, Almalexia. Maybe she is Telvani. Hi, right, ordinators. I would no. Sothasil should be Telvani. Right? Almalexia should be. Well, who knows? He doesn't say anything. There was no duties option, but it's okay. Right, plague. Okay. History of truth. Gromancy, Nervarine. The four orders of... Uh, all, oh, Jesus Christ. The four orders of ordinators answer to the Alma Rula in Almalexia. What is that? Okay, requirements. Do, 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 rules. Ask about all the saints. We'll just click through. Aha, we got something. Yes, beneath this temple, there is a large sewer system built around the ruins of old Mornhold. You smell like you may have spent... <laughs> you smell like you may have spent some time there. Regardless, in these ruins, there lies a shrine. This shrine has been corrupted. I can't ask about service to Our Lady anymore, but okay. Uh, the Shrine of the Dead was once a place of great power. It served as a channel to the ancestors, allowing the faithful to learn from them, to harness their power. Over the years, it has been forgotten, and it has, it has grown sour. The power that radiates from the Shrine has drawn hordes of the undead to it. The Shrine of the Dead must be cleansed. Okay. As I said, it holds immense power to speak with the ancestors and harness their power. Lady Elmalexia wishes to use this power for the good of Morrowind. I realize that ancestor worship falls a bit outside traditional temple doctrines, but the lady knows best, and her will is law. To find the shrine, enter the sewers through the temple basement, then head east to the ruined temple gardens, south to the Shrine of the Dead. And, uh, I assume she's probably looking to augment her failing power with other sources. Which is why we're gonna clean it, and then she's gonna take over or something. No, certainly not by you. This task falls to one of Almalexia's chosen. You will escort this young priest, Ervil Dalny. Ah, that dude. To the shrine. Protect him well, Oxley. His experience is limited, but he is necessary to complete the ritual. Is he gonna die? The shrine is, like, he's gonna sacrifice himself? Shrine is protected by the profane, powerful liches who feed from the power of the shrine. You must destroy them for Dulney to perform his duties. I stress again, protect Dulney at all costs. It is he who must perform the ceremony. If he is not able, there are no others. Great. Uh, okay. Great mage and a member of the Blessed Tribunal. Lives in his clockwork city. Oh, I knew young Talon. He was a fine young man, and King Lethen loved him like a son. I wonder if the truth about his death will ever be discovered. I see a kitten. Uh, let's see. The, shol the soldier, I have little use for him. He's concerned only with the physical. How sharp is his blade, how polished his breastplate. True strength comes from within by the mercy of Our Lady. Okay. Alright, so this dude... Oh my goodness, Jack. I do love you, but you are in the way. Alright, well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. 
You're crazy, mofo. Okay, we're gonna actually walk past the dude. And we'll save again. I'm looking over here because Jack is in front of this monitor. All right, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. You know, as always, guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them. I do try and read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them. I've been a little bit lazy lately, uh, but usually try and get to them within a few days, assuming they're not memory hold. Um, you know, and I don't, I don't check for comments every day either. So, um, what is your guys' unique puzzle moment for today? For me, I'm gonna go with the the walk this morning. Um, kind of windy out. I wonder if it, the, the weather is changing or something or, or what's going on, but just like yesterday, it was windy. Not so bad, though. I mean, it was a little cool at first, and then I was I kept kept moving, and it was uh, it was fine, but the wind died down, so. Right, Mr. Baby? You're a crazy one. All right, guys, but that's, uh, that's my unique puzzle moment. Hopefully, your guys just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And where are you going? Be careful, okay? And, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.